A Hayward Unified School District says as many as 10 schools could close. Officials point to declining enrollment and a lack of money as reasons behind the possible shutdowns. And tonight, parents and teachers at Hayward are not happy. And they demonstrated for their cause tonight. Crown 4's Dan Thorne was there. He joins us live from Hayward with more on what happened. Good evening, Dan. Well, Grant and Pam, the uh, school district is mulling restructuring over several issues because of um, most notably enrollment. But there was a rally and a march that was held here tonight against this school closure plan. Parents, teachers and students telling us they do not want this to happen. And they're hoping that the district hears their pleas to reconsider. <laughs> Birchfield Park taken over by demonstrators wanting the Hayward Unified School District to pull back on a plan to close schools. The group made up of parents, teachers and students wanting their voices to be heard. We don't feel like we've been given accurate information, a lot of uh, confusing data, but nothing specific. And what's more concerning is that there wasn't a teacher voice in this decision making plan. There wasn't a parent voice in this decision making plan. Crystal Chu is a sixth grade teacher at East Avenue Elementary. Her school is one of several facing closure or consolidation over the next few years. The district in their initial proposal cites low enrollment, aging facilities and a budget shortfall as reasons to make changes. Teachers argue the district and the board need to hear more from the people affected by these decisions. We are asking that the district put a pause on this plan and give more time for meaningful input from the stakeholders, which are the families, the students, and the staff. The group took their rally to the district's administrative offices Tuesday night, many holding signs reading Save Our Schools. A district spokesperson told Cron 4 last week tough decisions are ahead. With declining enrollment expected to continue and COVID-19 making things worse, the changes will need to be seriously considered. Keep it open. We're hoping that the board members hear us. We're hoping that the board members feel um, like uh, this is not a done deal because the community has not been heard and they put a pause on their actions and start to listen to the community members. Well, the district says that they are not planning on laying off any teachers in any of their proposals. The board is expected to vote next month. Reporting live in Hayward, Dan Thorne, Cron 4 News.